Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. I'm out at the lake with my family, so I don't have my current setup, so as well as no face cam or anything like that. We've just got the mic and the gameplay, but we're going to jump into some epic Clash Royale gameplay, guys, of us beating completely maxed out players. You can see that we are facing someone who is level 12, and uh, while we do have a couple of max cards, we've got three of them in our, four of them in our deck, um, we're going to be facing somebody who has higher level towers as well as all max out cards, and we are going to get to work. Um, so guys, when it comes to facing people who have higher level cards, um, it does make a it does make a difference in certain scenarios. Like if someone has a level up on a fireball or a lightning, it can cause a lot more um, long term damage than it can if it was lower level. For instance, if you hit somebody with a fireball, it can kill the wizard, or it can just uh, damage the wizard until it has a little bit of life left. But if there's a tank left in front of it, then it can still do damage. So those are the kinds of things that having different level cards can really play a role. But if you have level eleven barbarians going up against level twelve barbarians. It can't make enough to really decide the factor of the game. But again, it comes down to things like the lightning and the fireball and things like that that really do end up causing um, a pretty big significance in gameplay. So throughout this, guys, what you have to do is you really just have to um, play slowly. I, in my opinion, playing slowly is one of the most important things that you can do in the game. Um, playing focused and, 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 and knowing the cycle of what someone is using, um, realizing that somebody's using a lightning spell and that means they're going to be a little bit low on elixir and things like that. You just have to be aware of those, and that's how you can best counter someone who has higher level cards than you. Now we've got a pretty long video today with four attacks in it. We're going to go over all of them and it's going to be a blast. So this right here sucks really, really bad. I wasn't paying attention and I didn't realize that um, he, <clears throat> that the dragon would be out of range of my tower if I put my barbarian hut there. So after this, I have never put my barbarian hut out that far because people are using dragons a lot, guys. Now over here on the left side, I'm just going to let my dragon go ahead, come and do some work. Got to kill the mini P.E.K.K.A. though for sure because that thing will do a lot of damage. The dragon, however, won't do too much damage. Um, it'll get it down a fair amount. But you can see right here we've got a push going on the right side. He is totally about to be done. We're going to take out this, um, this Tesla right here and we're going to work our way towards the tower. Now, sadly enough, the giant bomb does go down and it kills... Um, it doesn't really do too much damage to him, but we are able to get um, an okay amount of damage off on his tower. Now, as you can see, our left tower is extremely low, as is the right tower. We're coming down. We've only got 25 seconds left, guys, and we've got to get a good push here. So right there, he's got his Tesla up, and we're like, oh, my goodness, what in the world are we going to do? we got to get that Tesla out of here because that's just going to keep on distracting people. So we've got to get a mass herd going. And as you can see, he just used that massive um, that elixir, of uh, that lightning spell, which a lot of elixir and because of that we're able to get a huge push of barbarians and our giant skeleton up in here along with the fireball and with one second left we're able to take him out and both of our towers are very very low we say good game to him he's probably really pissed because um of the health on my towers uh all he really needed to do was get one more good push and he could have taken them out honestly he could have lightning that other tower and uh, he would have had a victory but he didn't do it, so we won. Yay! <laughs> um, now we're going to go ahead and push up against Blue Sky. We played him a whole bunch, and I actually have a really good record against him. Um, so we're going to drop off our Barbarians over here. If you guys don't know, in the new update, troops are going to get distracted a little bit less. So um, in the new update, uh, whenever it comes out, I do not believe that that Hog Rider would have gone all the way over there because that was pretty far out of the way. Now this does suck because my Barbarian Hut is going to go down, but that Dragon's going to go ahead and follow them. Um, they're going to kind of kite it out of the way and then our tower is going to take that baby dragon out before it can even get back and get off a single shot so it's going to come back in range and we're going to take it out in two shots again before it shoots off so right here we've got our giant skeleton um walking down real real slow and uh we've got the mini pekka coming we're going to go ahead drop off our barbarians right in front now and make sure that they take out that mini P.E.K.K.A. We're going to drop off our Hog Rider over here as the Tesla is distracted. And we're going to get a good little push going right here. Sadly enough, the uh, Hog Rider goes left. But watch this. The giant skeleton skeleton's going to get over there to the tower, take it out, do some good damage right there. And uh, that's going to put us in the lead. Now we've got our Spear Goblin Hut down here. That's really our only air defense, guys. In fact, it is our only air defense that we have in our hand is our... Tes is our um, 
spear goblins so we have to play them well we also have to try and distract the baby dragon or try and get the baby dragon with the giant skeleton really that's all we can do right here was a crucial mistake on his part he played his tesla before i played my hog rider so i say thanks right there because now my hog rider is going to have a straight shot we know he has to cycle back through his cards in order to get that tesla back up and that's the one thing that we don't want him to have against our hog so we're going to go ahead and drop off the hog i believe with this little push right here yep he has no defense to defend it so he's going to get up in there the mini pack is going to hit it but we're going to get off one two and yeah, almost three shots but we end up not getting him out but that does lower the tower down a significant amount so you guys that's the kind of stuff i'm saying you have to pay attention to on offense and defense know what defenses they have as they cycle through and if he plays it you got to use that card as soon as possible so that he doesn't cycle back through um, and drop it down and distract so um that was that was his biggest mistake right there and my biggest um my biggest move so far up until this point was playing that and being able to get that hog rider up there when we needed it to. So we've got two barb huts. We've got one uh, goblin spawner down here. And again, look at this. The Tesla's about to go out, but you can see he has it second in his hand. So that one actually lasted for a while. So we know that he's probably cycled back through to it at this point. Um... But we are going to get a massive push here, and you're going to see he's going to drop off his other Tesla in just a second. Um, there goes the other Tesla. We're going to drop off our Hog Rider. It's going to take them both out. Hog Rider is going to go at that tower, practically full health. Giant Bomb is going to take out the Dragon, and one and two with one second left, and that Fireball. And we take him out very, very easily, guys. He has completely maxed out troops, and we were able to to defeat him let's go ahead and jump into another one i believe this is another one facing him once again mr blue sky from hke sports yep um so we're gonna face the exact same guy uh completely different gameplay here obviously um we start off with different starting hands. We start off with all that kind of stuff. So it can very easily go um, awry, guys. As you know, the your starting hand is super, super important in this game. Um, it really, really is. And being able to adjust to your starting hand is, um, is what makes you succeed or fail in this game. So as you can see, I dropped off those skeletons just so that I could get my, um, gob my spear goblin spawner out. And uh, we're going to drop off these goblins as well so that we can get our barb hut up in here. And we're going to go ahead and drop off the barbarian hut. And they're going to destroy as that dragon gets taken down and we're going to be able to get up in there um, and do some good damage to that tesla and uh, in just a couple seconds you saw that he used his lightning there so we know that that's out of his deck or out of his hand he's going to have his tesla back in rotation so we missed our chance um, to take out that tesla and use our hog rider but it's not too big of an issue so we're gonna go ahead drop off all of our barbarians right here and again you can see that he had he doesn't have his tesla in his hand quite yet so we're gonna get a big push here with all these barbarians we're gonna go ahead and fireball that prince um our hog rider is gonna get off the majority of hits on that thing and look at this we're gonna come in here and we are going to completely take out this tower because we had so many barbarians coming in they helped out with the tesla as well and we were able to take it down along with that knight or along with that prince and we were able to take out the tower now as you can see both of our towers are practically full health so all we have to do now is just defend and kind of hang out um guys one of my favorite defenses for hog riders at this point is just the goblins you can see that he only gets off two hits right there um actually i think he might have only even gotten off one hit and missed that last one um but that's just key because um they're super cheap cheaper than the barbarians and um they do pretty much the exact same job so that way you can save barbarians to counter a prince say because barbarians can counter a prince when goblins can't really counter a prince so right here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be cheeky guys we're gonna start pushing this left lane and uh, he's gonna have to either choose to defend or attack the other one if he decides to attack the other one then we're gonna take out his other tower um Right here, you can see those minions are in play. They are coming in there, taking out our hut, but our tower is taking them out. So right here, guys, this is a massive push. He drops off his Tesla. We've got Giant Skeleton. We've got Hog Rider. We've got Barbarians. We've got Goblins down. We are going to go after him right here with only 30 seconds left in the game. He's got his Prince down, but it's not going to do anything against all of the Barbarians that we have on that tower. Go ahead, give him a little bit of a thumbs up right there as like seven Barbarians head towards uh, the King Tower, and we're going to drop off our barb hut on his side just to troll a little bit as we three crown guys three crown a max level player that is exactly what i am talking about we got one more match in here though i don't think this one is against somebody max I think this is against a level 11 
Um, but this guy's been fairly good. He's over 4,000 cups. Guys, look at me. I'm at 4,127. Doing good. Finally up in the 4,000s. Can't wait to get all of those Legends trophies once the arena season is over in a day. Um, and guys, here's one thing that I'm noticing. So many people are using my deck now. It's ridiculous. And it's not that I was the first one to make it. I've been using it a lot lately, though. Um, and a lot of people, when they use it, they'll switch their version up to where they have the baby dragon or a minion horde or something like that um i faced this guy i beat him i faced him again he had a minion horde and i wasn't ready for it and he was able to take me out so then i threw arrows in my deck and um now uh we're able to to get this gameplay going right here so i'm gonna go ahead i tried to take out the barbarians and guess right there we missed it though which sucked we've got our arrows now though so we can go ahead take out all of that which was actually a lot we took out all those minions and three spear goblins so that was really really good and a little bit of damage to um the baby dragon as well as our spear goblins come in and finish them off um, we are going to, however, need to get our Barbarian Hut down here because, um, these Spear Goblins aren't going to be able to do too much to all of the Barbarians that are coming out. So we're going to drop this one back kind of far. Again, I told you guys that one time I had it way too far up and people were dropping off minions, minion horde dragging on it, and our towers weren't able to focus on it. So... We've got to start building up our slow push again. A lot of people complain about spawners and they say that they're too easy, they're broken, it's too easy to win with. Um, that's not true. That is not true. You still have to be um, skillful and know when to make plays. If someone has a lightning spell, like right now, if I had a lightning spell, I could take out both of his huts and he'd be done. He would be almost completely done with that push and we'd be able to get something going, especially if I dropped off something in the very back and then destroyed his huts and then had a large push at the beginning. So it is very easy to counter it guys you just have to be prepared and you have to know what you're doing i have lost with this deck um a couple of times so you can see over on the left he's got two barbarians i'm gonna go ahead and distract this last one with skeletons we're gonna keep that thing alive and we're gonna get a good push here as we see that his towers or that his things are about to go down we're gonna go ahead and uh arrow right here and then i think that i might fireball uh that barb hut over there nope but now i am gonna fireball because he's all of that and we got to get rid of all those buildings as our guy goes in there. Um, oh, no, maybe not. Okay, so I, I ended up not fireballing that. But look, you can see our giant skeleton over on the left pushing in there. He's doing good work for us. Um, we are building up our elixir. We've got to get this right tower down because we're super close um, to being over with it. And he's got his prince coming in. We're going to take that thing out, drop off all these barbs right here. And this is going to be our final push. we got to get these arrows out. And we've got to get our hog rider out there as well to start doing some work. So here come a whole bunch of goblins. Go ahead and fireball right there. Do a little bit of damage to that hut. And then now you can see that we are about to get our final little push going here. He's going to arrow. Only have seven left. We're going to drop off our um, our hog rider. Try and get him up in here, guys. Again, it's at 53. Uh, or we're at 50 seconds right here. We've got to get something rolling and going. He doesn't have that much damage done to our towers at all. So he is going to be defending this with every ounce of his bin. We've got 40 seconds left. we got to get up in there. We're going to send our giant skeleton in which is going to be pretty different um in the future guys because with that three second bomb time it's going to be uh significantly different than what it is now but watch this we're going to go ahead and take out that hut and now we've got our hog rider that we can send in and he is going to go over there to that spear goblin hut but we're going to take it out and we're just going to go ahead and fireball right there and take everything out in the end good game that's what i'm talking about hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like on it as always make sure you keep calm and you clash on i'll see you guys in the next episode all right Peace.